What's up, guys? We have a very delicious recipe for you. We are making eggnog pie. I know, eggnog is a drink. How do you turn that into a pie? Very simple. We're gonna show you exactly how. And honestly, I don't even know if I should be doing this recipe because Matt was just talking a huge game. He's an eggnog expert. There's the people that take the eggnog very thick. They water it down or they mix it with milk. Okay. You can't handle the eggnog. Me, I drink it straight from the gallon. I don't water it down. You like your eggnog like you like your women. This pie is gonna be nice and thick because we're gonna be using some gelatin powder to give it a nice thick texture. But we're gonna start with the pie crust. So we have our pie crust already made because we wanted to get ahead of the game. And this has been chilling in the freezer for about an hour because you definitely wanna have it cold when you're forming it with your hands because your hands are hot and it'll get melty and it won't form as well. So linked below, um, you can find the recipe to this sweet, Pie crust, it's perfect. We literally use it for any pie we want. We also have a savory one. You can check out that blog post and it shows you exactly how to make both of them. And even if you wanna just do a normal standard pie for like family or friends, you can use this crust because it's gluten-free, it's a healthier option, and you honestly can't even tell the difference. It's really, really good. So we have our cold crust here and we're gonna roll it out between two pieces of parchment paper. There's our crust. And I will say one thing, it might depend on the parchment paper you're using, but you might wanna spray the parchment paper with some coconut oil spray. Press this out just a little bit, and then we're gonna get our other piece of parchment paper. We're gonna roll it out pretty thin here. And since it's cold, it will also make the transfer to the pie pan a lot easier. If it was warm, it would just break apart um, and crack, and we don't want that to happen. All right, so we have our crust all rolled out, and you can feel it's still very cold, but before we transfer it, we're gonna make sure we spray our pie pan, and we invest it in like a nicer one. Only six bucks. But it was only six bucks at the grocery store. Okay, perfect. Now, for the transfer. Not too bad. And then you can obviously just go in and fix this up. We're not gonna worry about this lining here, but if you wanted to, you could definitely stretch this to fit over the edges. So we have our oven preheated to 350 degrees and we're gonna pop this in and we're gonna get this baked before we add in our filling. But before you pop it in the oven, you want to score it with a fork, um, a knife, just give it some holes because we don't want the bottom of the crust to rise and then crack or pop, because a bubble could potentially form. So once you get your scores in there, we're gonna pop it in the oven. It'll brown nicely. You'll know when it's done. All right, guys, so the crust is out of the oven and it's looking beautiful. You can tell it's done. The edges are nice and browned. And this was actually in the oven for a lot longer than we had anticipated. It was about 20 minutes, and that's longer than the blog post will say below. I think, honestly, it'll vary depending on your pan. So this is a thicker pan, took a little bit longer, and we're also not gonna be baking it again, so we didn't wanna just partially cook it. We wanted it cooked all the way through. Now that the pie crust is done, we're gonna set this aside and allow it to cool while we make our filling. All right, guys, so the filling is pretty straightforward, similar to an eggnog drink, but we're just gonna do a pie form and the secret ingredient is gelatin here. So just as a word of precaution, we are gonna be using raw egg yolks in this recipe. And what we like to do is we like to just find really good quality eggs. You can do that. Or if you're really concerned about it, we have a ton of other dessert recipes, pies and stuff on ketoconnect.net you can check out as well. So in this bowl, we have six large egg yolks that we added half a cup of powdered erythritol to. And the powdered aspect is important because we're not baking this and we don't want that grainy texture when we're eating this pie. So to these, we're gonna add about 30 drops of liquid stevia, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and you don't wanna go crazy with the nutmeg in my opinion. It's pretty strong. Matt loves nutmeg. I don't think you need that much. A little goes a long way. The secret ingredient, aside from gelatin, is rum extract. So this you may not have on hand. We bought this just at Publix, a normal grocery store in the baking section. So I didn't grow up eating eggnog or drinking eggnog, but I think you put rum in your eggnog, right? You get a little tipsy, a little warmer, and you enjoy the food a little bit more. So we're just gonna add the flavor, rum extract. So now we're gonna give this a whisk. <laughs> And let's set that aside for a minute here. So what we're gonna be doing next is the gelatin step. And this is essential because it'll make the pie nice and thick. We have half a cup of water here. And to this water, we're gonna add one tablespoon of unflavored gelatin. 
Ours happens to be beef, but pork will work. And now we're just gonna let it bloom. We're just gonna set it aside for about five minutes. So while the gelatin is blooming, we're gonna get started on the whipped cream filling. So we're gonna add two cups of heavy whipping cream to a large bowl. Make sure it's large enough that it holds all of the cream. And now we're just gonna whip this to stiff peaks. That looks perfect. We're gonna set this aside and finish our steps with this gelatin. So the gelatin has been blooming and you can see that's what blooming looks like for about five minutes. So we're gonna heat this because we want that gelatin to dissolve and disperse evenly throughout the entire pie. So we're gonna microwave it for about 10 to 15 seconds, not too long. So that was in the microwave for about 15 seconds and you can see the difference, right? The gelatin has dissolved and it's just a liquid mixture. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to add this to our egg mixture and whisk it. And then we're gonna slowly fold this in to our whipped cream mixture. And that'll give us this perfect filling. It's jelly, baby. Add this to our whipped cream as we fold it. All right, so our pie crust has cooled and our filling is also done. You can see that it's nice and incorporated and that's what you're looking for. You don't want chunks of the egg. So we're going to just add this to our pie crust and then we're gonna freeze this for about four hours or you can do that overnight and you can just make this ahead. Oh baby, that's beautiful. And just for a little fancy presentation, I'm gonna sprinkle on some nutmeg, totally optional, but I think it adds a nice little flavor and just some color. So now we're gonna pop this in the fridge for at least four hours so it can set. You can even make it ahead of time and just refrigerate it overnight so it's ready to go when everyone arrives. But we'll be back in four short hours to taste us this beautiful eggnog pie. All right guys, we're back. It is nice and chilled. We put it in the freezer for about 90 minutes because we just wanted to get to this taste test. It's looking and smelling super, super good. So I'm excited to dig in. I'm just gonna use this because this is a better cutter. It is nice and set. So this could probably set a little longer. I would say, so I think four hours, you're gonna wanna do that. <gasps> oh my goodness! And look how nice and thick that crust is. That's what I like, I like a thick crust. Top it with some berries. I don't know, is that normal? I guess it's eggnog, so no, you wouldn't. Mm. Oh man, the nutmeg takes just a little bit to hit you, so I was like waiting for it. It's so creamy and like perfectly sweet. I, I feel like I really missed out drinking eggnog during the holiday season growing up because this eggnog pie and the eggnog drink recipe on our site, ketoconnect.net, is also really good. But man, this is a winner. Eggnog pie is where it's at. I would rather eat this than pecan pie. It's super creamy and like light. I could eat like two or three slices of this easy. So linked below is the instructions on how to make this, the directions, and I don't know guys, like you're just gonna wanna make this. And let us know if you do in the comments below or tag us on Instagram, show us the pictures. Eggnog pie guys, make it, serve it, enjoy. Thanks for joining us. Happy holidays.